Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Python tutorial for beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use break and continue keywords with your Python loops. So to start with, I have here two loops. One is a for loop and other is a while loop. Now this for loop takes a list and then print every element out of this list using this print function. In a similar way, while loop evaluates the value of i if it's less than 5, then it's going to print the value of i and then increment the value of i by 1. Now this is all normal and we have already seen this kind of code. Now you can use a break keyword with your loops in order to terminate the execution of loop immediately. So let's see how we can use break keyword first and then we will see how to use continue keyword. So here I'm going to give a condition inside my for loop and I'm going to just evaluate whether x is equal to 3 or not. And if x is equal to 3, I'm going to use this break keyword. In the same way, I'm going to use this if condition inside my while loop also. But instead, this time I'm going to evaluate i is equal to 3. And if i is equal to 3, then I'm going to use this break inside this if condition. So let's run the code and let's see what happens. And you can see in the for loop, it has only printed 0, 1, 2. Even though this for loop is supposed to print from 0 to 5, it has printed until 2 from 0 because as soon as this x value becomes 3 and we call break here, the loop is terminated immediately and our program will come out of the loop immediately as soon as this break keyword is called. In the case of this while loop also, as soon as this i value becomes 3, we are calling the break keyword and as soon as this break keyword is called, our loop is broken and the execution of code will come out of this loop. So until 2, everything was okay, but as soon as the value becomes 3, this break is called and then we come out of the loop. Let me just print a line here in order to separate these two loops so we know that from where one is starting, right? So I'm going to once again run the code and you can see for loop prints from zero to two and also while loop prints from zero to two. If you uh, change the value here, for example here, you want to evaluate x is equal to two or not and here, you want to evaluate if x is equal to 4 or not and then you break out of the loop and once again when I run the code you can see the for loop runs only two iteration for 0 and 1 and as soon as the value of x becomes 2 we call the break keyword and we come out of this loop and in the case of while loop as soon as this value of i becomes 4 we come out of the loop so the value from 0 to 3 is printed. Now let's see how we can use a continue keyword instead of this break keyword. So instead of this break keyword, I will use a keyword called continue here. And also in the while loop also, I'm going to use this keyword called continue. And I'm going to run the program and let's see what happens. So now when you see here, so you can see here for loop starts from printing 0, 1, and as soon as the value of x becomes 2, this condition is met and this continue is called. And as soon as this continue keyword is called, everything, whatever code comes after this continue keyword will be skipped and your program execution goes once again to a for loop for the next value. So you can see in case where x is equal to 2 and continue is called, this statement is not executed because as soon as we execute continue in our loop, then that iteration is skipped and all the code after the continue will not be executed. Okay, so we go to the next iteration. So that's why two is not printed because this was skipped in case of two and then directly 3 is printed and then 4 and 5 is printed. In case of while loop also, as soon as the value of i becomes 4, you can see 
4 is not printed here. You can also change this value to 2 and then I'm going to run the program once again and you can see while loop prints 0, 1 and why it prints 0 and 1. So because as soon as the value of i becomes 2, this continue keyword is called and after that this iteration is skipped and also because this iteration is skipped, these two lines of code are not executed and because this line of code is not executed, that's why the value of i is not incremented and the value of i always remains 2 and that's why this becomes an infinite loop, right? So instead of increment the value of i at the last line, we can increment the value of i just after this condition check whether i is less than 5 or not and then we run the code. Now you can see it prints 1, 3, 4 and 5. So now what's happening here is initially the value of i is equal to 0 and this condition is evaluated and then we first increment the value by 1 and that's why it starts with the printing of 1 by using this print function and as soon as i is equal to 2 this continue is called and that's why here 2 is not printed because as soon as the value of i becomes 2 this continue is called and every code or every statement after the continue will be skipped for that iteration that's why 2 is not printed here. So in this way you can use break and continue keywords with loop. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.